Hello again. Now we should be within communication distance of one of the doctor's companions, but which one? If I press these buttons like Sharma did, what did you do? Now then, see who it is. And it's Fraser Hines making his return. Welcome back to 31 Who, Fraser. Tell me, what was the favourite story? I think actually the, the war games were probably my, my, my favourite because we got a lot of... I got to ride a horse for a start, which was, which was great fun. Galloping on this stunt horse and diving off and rolling Peter Diamond, who um, Peter Diamond did my sort of first Doctor Who. We had a sword fight and he sort of, which side nicked me somewhere with a sword, and I'd killed him so many times in Doctor Who. And it was great to get my own back diving on him, and he he ended up calling his first son Fraser because he said, "I've killed you've killed me so many times. I'm going to be reminded every time that boy walks in the kitchen." But that was, that was a favourite one of mine, because also we had the Roman soldiers, we had the First World War, I got to sort of uh, have the rifle and fire a few guns, and also I had a, a lovely comedy scene where um, <coughs> Jamie had to pretend to be this sort of big war hero with a khaki cap on and a bondolier of bullets, and supposed to be a big sort of tough leader, trying to copy the Mexican bandit leader. So I had a lot of humour in that as well for Jamie, so I, I think that was my... My favourite. Mm, now, you and Patrick Troughton were great yeah. practical jokers, weren't you, of course? Tell us a bit about that. Uh, we were, particularly to our um, female companions. A um, couple of stories. Uh, I remember we were filming on Margate Beach, and um, there was all this sort of foam all on, along the beach. And Patrick and, and Debbie and I had to sort of get up this rubber dinghy and walk through it. Well, they'd set all this foam up so we couldn't rehearse it, because every time you walk through it, it, it was dispersed, so the, the director said, let's go straight for a take. So Debbie was in the middle of us, and Patrick and I had this sort of telepathy. He could look at me, and I could look at him, and we both knew what the other person was thinking. And we started to walk through this foam, and I looked at him, he looked at me, and we looked at Debbie, and we just grabbed her and threw her and rolled her in all this foam. She came up, covered up in all this foam, going, you swine, you swine, look, you The director was falling about laughing, and they kept it in. You rotten luck. But you obviously enjoyed playing Jamie then. Jamie was great to play, wonderful, because um, <clears throat> I, I, I don't think it needed a lot of work on it at all, because he, he'd come from 1746, a Highlander, suddenly into uh, this room with lights and electricity, so everything I, that I, you, can, you can see in a room, Jamie had never seen before. So for me, it was, it was so easy, the sort of electric light switch, and what's, what's, what happened there? And who, it was wonderful, but... Thanks very much, Fraser.